Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So in the last video we did the IR receiver module. I'm really, really, really enjoying these tutorials and I do feel like I'm learning a lot, which is really good. So let's move on to the LED dot matrix module. I assume here we're going to be able to put some like letters and numbers and stuff onto a screen or onto basically a board of LEDs. So LED dot matrix module. In this tutorial we'll connect to max 7219 and scroll the text across, nice. Uh, since these modules use the Mac 7 LED driver chip, we will be able to turn on and off the 64, wow, 64 LEDs of each module using only three pins on our Uno. So it's just the Uno R3, the Mac 7219, and then five melt melt jumper wires. So our project is in fact, oh, that's what it looks like, oh yeah. Our project is in fact an Arduino serially interfaced, uh, Arduino serially interfaced to, okay. That operates an 8x8 LED matrix. The MAT IC is a serial input output common cathode display driver that interfaces microprocessors to a seven segment numeric LED display of up to eight digits. Okay, bar graph displays or 64 individual LEDs. Okay, cool. For convenience, here is an 8x8 LED matrix integrated with da da da. Okay, so it looks simple enough. So it's just VCC to five volts, ground to ground, and then we've got three pins. So there's pins on either side of it. We're just connecting one side of the pins. Then we've got a DIN pinout, which goes to D12. We've got a CS pinout, which goes to D11, which is a pulse width modulation pin. And then we've got uh, a clock signal, which is going to D10, which is, again, PWM. All right, so no need for a breadboard, just nice and simple circuit wiring diagram here. Okay, so the LED matrix is just here. We've got our Uno, and then we just need three wires. Okay, so we need the... It said male to male. Why would you use male to male? It's going to be male to female, right? They get very confused with these male to male, male to female stuff. All right, so let's... I'm not going to worry about... Should I stick to colors? All right, go on. We'll stick to colors. I know some of you... I mean, most, most of you wouldn't need the colors. I don't think you'd need to follow the colors by now, but let's just do it anyways, because good practice, whatnot. All right, so I need a yellow. Okay, so I hate the fact that I don't have the right colors, but it's fine. So I just did red to VCC, you can see there. And then I've done black to ground. I've used orange instead of the light blue for the DIN color, the DIN pin. And then I've done yellow for CS and blue for clock. All right, so always start off with the easy pins. So let's just connect our ground to ground and then our five volts to five volts. The LED is actually lit up already. I think it's because it's got um the... I think it's got my membrane code on there right now, or the IR receiver code. All right, so I'm using orange as my in pin, and so that's going to 12. I can't really see what I'm doing, 12, there you go. And then we've got yellow as the CS pin, and that's going to 7. And then finally, the clock pin going to 10. Not the best with the way that these wires are, they're just bending all over the place, but anyways. All right, let's carry on. So after wiring, please open up the programming code. Before you can run this, make sure you have installed the LED control library. Fine. And then no, no explanation about the code whatsoever. It just sucks. I don't know why they don't do it, but okay. So there's the LED control library. Okay, so let's add the library in, which I'm sure is going to cause me problems of some sort. Include library. Add add.zip library. And then navigate to the folder. Okay, here we go, add LED control. Okay, so for me, it says that I've already got the library installed. So if you don't have it installed, just install it. But yeah, I've already got it. Okay, so let's just hit upload. Uploading the file now, let's see what happens. I wonder which way you're supposed to hold it. I assume you're supposed to hold it like that. So you got it flashed briefly. Okay, done uploading. Oh, there you go. Oh, wait. Did that say? Did that say Arduino? It doing is it supposed to be doing this? Let me cast some lights. It's very bright. Okay. I assume it's supposed to be doing this, but I don't know. These pin numbers will probably not work with your hardware. Hold on about. 
Whoa. This thing's glitched up. Either I've done something wrong or this code just sucks. It seemed okay. It's doing this. It seemed like it spelled out Arduino there, but then it did it whilst these two columns were illuminated, which is just weird. I'm just going to leave that there in case it does anything else interesting. So it spells out Arduino, but then, okay. All right, let's have a look at the code. Now we need the LED control to work with. These pin numbers will probably not work with your hardware. Uh, okay. Okay, so the DIN pin is the data in. Okay, and then we've got load for CS and clock. Am I using the right pins? So 12 is supposed to be for data in. Yeah. And then CS is 11 and clock is 10. Okay, so I'm using the right pins. Okay, so they've got here LED control LC is equal to LED control. And then we've got 12, 10, 11, 1. So the 12, 10, 11 is obviously the pins. And then the 1, I don't know what that 1's doing. Okay, and then we've got unsigned, so we've got delay timers here that are being set, they're being initialized here. And then I assume we're gonna use them later on. We've got the max is in power saving mode on startup. We have to do a wake up call. Okay, so this is the setup stuff. The shutdown LED, set intensity. Oh, nice, you can change the brightness. Let's try that. So I should probably go through the rest of the code first, but let's change this eight. So it was eight, let's change it to three. Yeah, upload. We'll see if it changes the brightness here. I'll keep my hand there so you can see. Okay, Arduino. That's about Arduino properly. Yeah, it has. It's made a big difference, right? I'm going to change it back to 8 again. Yeah, upload. Yeah, you can see that. That's way more brighter. Okay, so then we clear the display. Nice, so all I have to do to clear any display, I just have to do lc.clearDisplay. Okay, so this method will display the characters for the word Arduino one after the other on the matrix. You need at least five times seven ADs to see the whole characters. Okay, so Arduino. Nice, I get it. So these are the, okay, I get it, but it's gonna be hard for me to explain it. So that, this line, okay, this B number, whatever it is, refers to this whole top row. So when it's spelling out A, it's saying that it's a zero and then a one on, 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 off. And then you've got here, on, off, 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 on, and so on and so. So these refer to the eight any of these, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah. So this combination of numbers, I don't know what the B is for, but the combination of numbers refer to the LEDs. Okay, so we're spelling out Arduino and then we're saying now display them one by one with a small delay. So, okay, LED set row zero. Not sure what's going on here. This function lights up some LEDs in a row. The pattern will be repeated on every row. The pattern will blink along with the row number. Just a bunch, of, okay, that's just silly code, but all right, fine. So here we, these are all functions we're talking about here. And then I assume in the loop, main loop, we're gonna, so right on Arduino matrix. On the main, there's gonna be a loop and then here, it's calling each of the functions, yeah. Okay, so we've got it doing four different things. So I don't see the point in this pattern. I'm not gonna use that pattern. I'm more interested in writing onto the LED. So let's hit upload here. And then I should just write onto the Arduino. It should just write Arduino over and over again. There you go. Okay, now on A, the first four LEDs aren't illuminated. Then these two are, and then that one's not. So it should be zero, 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 one, 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 zero. Okay, so first, I'm just going to get rid of these um, these functions. I don't need them. Void columns, rows. Just turn on a bunch of random LEDs, making it confusing for me. Okay, so. Now display them one by one with a small delay. Okay, so here we're defining, we're defining what A is, and then we're using it here. A, to set all of these rows. Wait, how many rows are there? One, two, three, four, five rows. Why are we only setting five rows? 
it's using seven of seven of the okay so i would like to display my own name or just ch like display my own text and i'm not about to try and start figuring out what combination of LEDs i need for each letters that is long so let's get on google okay um okay so if i just google this okay so we got an uh a link here guide for eight by eight that's what we got the max seven two one nine okay let's see what we've got here so looking for the code okay fine define here we go so here's all of the letters if time count ah this is nice what's this all doing draw screen okay so that one's got all of the letters so i'm probably going to use that okay so here's how you would you would figure out what you wanted to display yeah i thought so zero zero one 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 like this so here it's displaying happy so happy face neutral face sad face okay i won't copy i'll stick to this code that we've got here let's copy in all of those these letters here and then i'll use them so by or the z okay so get rid of these copy these onto here there we go so i've got all the letters i need now so now if i wanted to change this what's going on there there's some space there that shouldn't be there okay so if i want to display h i should just be able to just call up on this byte here and this should be the combination for h let's try that so if i change these to h now i'm surprised that why are there only five and not eight okay but let's just hit upload see what happens so i should get a h nope didn't ha didn't like the r okay that's because i've removed the other one so let's change these to a then a a a a do the same here m so i'm in case you don't know my name's hamid and i'm spelling out hamid so m and then uh, finally d e d okay and so let's remove these ones and what's with this we've got it setting it all to zero again like i didn't turn it off okay, we'll leave that there or well, i don't think we've defined zero so it might no it should be fine okay see what happens okay so that it worked oh um okay i thought so so it's only this is only using the first five rows so i need more rows right I surely need eight at least, right? So going up to seven. As you can see there, it looks like it's cut off basically. ED, yeah, it has weird code this. Okay, so let's, we need another three rows. And then, so that's got to be five, six, seven. All right, let's try this now. So it should, it should display the H properly. This way, isn't it? No, I didn't like it. Well, it accepted it, but. Hmm. Oh, I've <laughs> I've been silly here. So I've got to go five, six, seven here as well. I've changed the rows there. Okay, try again. There we go. So it displayed the H properly. And so now it's just got these two still illuminated from the H. Let's fix the other rows as well. So we've got what, an extra three rows. So. So many of my problems when it comes to programming come from copy and pasting is a big problem. Okay, so change these now to D. I forgot E here. E. This is quite long, right? I mean, there's going to be surely a much easier way. If you know an easy way that doesn't, that is at my programming level, let me know, please. Because doing, if I had to do this just to display some text and if I wanted to change it, that is long. There's surely already got to be a function written. Where it's super easy. Okay, so H A M E D. Nice. Oh, what's that last one? There's something going on with the last one. Oh, I didn't put these ones in here. So let's just need to change these to five, six, seven. I mean, this this kit's not really suitable for like an absolute beginner because if you couldn't program in C, you'd be lost. H A M E D. Nice. So I don't really like how this A looks. I'm thinking I should be able to change it. And the M goes a bit weird as well. Do I really want to do that in this video? I don't think this video has been too long. If if the videos are too long, let me know, please. But I'm going to try and change this A, I think. Give this a go. So 
here's this whole line here is the code for the A, right? So you can see here the top, the top row along here is not none of it is illuminated, right? So it's all zero. Then the second row here, you can see that the A, it's got zero zero, and then it's got three four ones and zero zero, as you expect. So I'm okay with that. It's the next rows. So it's row three down to the bottom where this second column is being illuminated and the second to last column, which makes the, the A look fat. So from here, this one should be able to change to a zero and this one to a zero. And I should just have to do the same for each one of these and just get rid of the A on each side, the, the second column and the second to last column. I'm just changing it to a zero. Basically, I'm changing this one here to a zero. And this one here to a zero. And same again there. And same again there. And that should do it. Let's have a look. Ready? Nice. Look at that. <laughs> okay, so let's just turn the whole bottom row off as well. So that's um, this one here. Make all of these zeros. So if I copy this, paste that there. The whole bottom row should be off. Not yet. Okay. Finish uploading now. Look at that. That is brilliant. <laughs> okay. I don't like the M, but I'm not sure I can do anything about that. I think it's just odd because of the 8x8 LED matrix. Although I could make it so it doesn't go outwards. I can just make it go straight down. So basically, from the fourth row downwards, does it, does it go into the bottom row? No, it doesn't. So from the fourth row. Down, it's turning on. I could turn on that one there. Okay, last one, and then we we round up this video. But I'm very happy with that. Uh, so we're doing. Let's do M here. This whole row here, and then we're saying that from the fourth row, which is here, we're turning on the first row, the first column, and I want to turn on the second column instead. So let's delete that and put a zero in front. Zero one. So I'm basically swapping instead of one zero, I want zero one, zero one, and that one's off. Let's see how that looks. This can get confusing fast. Okay, ready? That looks much better. So I've just got to do the same again on this side here, where it's the second to last one being lit up, and we need it to be the third to last one. So still staying on M instead of zero one, we want one zero. Instead of zero one one uh one zero and one zero one zero. Okay, let's have a look. There you go, ready? H A M. Look at that, that's much better. The M's still a bit off, and I'm not sure there's anything I could do about that. Regardless, it's gonna be off. It's either gonna be off to this side or off to that side. So I'll leave it as that. I'm very happy with that. Have a look. Now, the thing is, it is a bit long. If I was to start then writing out and saying Hamed is cool, it's going to take some time, isn't it? What would probably be best would be you create a function that does that, and then you just pass in the letter that the, the variable, the byte that you want up here. So you create a function and just pass it in parameters. That's probably going to be the easiest way to do it. But then even then, you're probably going to then need like a loop. Okay. If I'm going to start doing that, and I'm a bit, I've, I must say, I'm a bit rusty when it comes to functions and parameters. I haven't coded in C properly for a year now. So I'm not going to do that on this video because I'll probably get it wrong and you guys will laugh at me. So I'll leave this one like this. Very happy with this. This is, this is cool. Look at that. This is brilliant. Yeah. So I'll leave this one here and I shall see you guys in the next one. As always, let's just quickly check what the next one is. Next up is MPU 605 module. No clue what that is, but I'll see you guys there. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy it, leave a like. I appreciate it. Peace.